outside the uh, Google walls. And this room looks like it is in Yama time because it's his stuff. This house was owned by LKAB until 1980 when they gave it away to the municipality here. And they opened it up to the public because they thought this is such an important historical building for Kirna. Because here Jalma Lumbom sat in his office making all the decisions that made Kirna to what it is. And now this house is the first house that is going to be moved to a new place. Because a big part of Kirna will now have to be moved due to the mine undermining the town, creating cracks in the ground that comes closer and closer. So eventually, if the mine will continue for 100 years more, all of present Kirna will be uh, moved. Yalma Lumbum was the first manager of the mine here, LKAB, and as the first manager, his mission, when he was employed by LKAB, was to start up the mining operations, which hadn't uh, begun yet, and to build a town for all the people that would work in the mine. This, the home and also the workplace of Yalma Lundbom, doesn't look like a typical manager's villa. It's uh, much more humble. But the architect, a famous Swedish architect that came here, he draw a big pompous building and when Yalmar saw the plans for this he said what kind of castle is this and he didn't like it it uh, was too big for Kirna didn't fit into Kirna uh, so instead he asked uh, an artist a friend of him who really was a sculptor to make uh, a sketch of an extension of the existing log cabin and from that small uh, sketch they made this, the dining room, and three more rooms. And then they have added to this house several times. But still, it doesn't look very big and important. But that was the style of Jalmar. He didn't want to create a, a big distance between him and the workers. He wanted to be one of them, so to say. They had actually known that there was a, a big or deposit here, even in 1696 is the oldest document naming this big ore deposit. But they couldn't start to develop it until the railway arrived to Kiruna, and that was in 1899. But before that, a few private uh, entrepreneurs had uh, founded the company LKAB, which is the mine here. And they hoped that the Swedish government would build a railway here, which they eventually did. Uh, a few years into the 20th century, they started to get uh, short of money because this was a very big investment, opening a big mine like this and building a big town to it. Uh, so they asked for loans from the government but uh, the only way they could get money was if they doubled the, the stock and half of the shares the Swedish government owned. So from 1907 it's half owned by the Swedish government. From 1957 LKB is a, a totally governmental owned uh, company. So now we have open every weekday to show tourists and people of Kirna, and uh, telling about the short but uh, interesting history of Kirna.